What's going on, MK boards? Welcome back to another stream. Uh, today we are uh, the match we have going on is Metro Wipeout One versus Avail, coming in for uh, week five of Division One. Going uh, going into it, and let's. Uh, let's uh... I am also here, Monies. <laughs> oh yeah, here you. <laughs> As for that, uh, let's go into the uh, standings, the current standings of this division. Uh, coming in, Metro Wipeout being in second, and Avail being in uh, sixth currently going into this match. And uh, if Metro Wipeout wins this match, they're going to get the first seed, which uh, will decide, like, they get to f uh, pick the first team uh, from coming from D2 onwards. Uh, uh, let's, let's switch into lineups. Yeah, let's check the lineups. Uh, so MW coming out, coming out with uh, Sharon, Fox, Leops, Xander, and uh, Roy as the uh, as the bagger, as always. Definitely a very strong lineup for MW coming out into this match. Um, definitely, when you think of MW, all these players are staples to this team. So. A team that's been playing together for a very long time, and uh, nothing, uh, nothing you wouldn't expect coming out from this team. It's pretty much the standard Metro Wipeout lineup. Like, just all of these four players are extremely strong and scary players to face off, and they've been playing together for quite a long time, so their chemistry is like off the top of the roof right now. And one thing that I gotta say that I mentioned, uh, that I forgot to mention before, uh, Metro Wipeout actually lost to Ethereal, so they need to win this match in order to get first seed. Because if oh, they okay. don't, they're gonna get second. So th there's se actually something in the line. Oh, okay, so this yeah, this is, this is definitely gonna be a, a wanna win if you're MW going into this uh, matchup then. Now, Convenient. switching into Avail's lineup, and... we have Kevin, Alfred, Sean, Vincent, Mac. Avail's main value, uh, Kevin is actually playing this week. I'm actually uh, glad that he does. Like, he's such a good, um, I would say, like, he's one of the most underrated players in Avail, uh, other than Klein, because Klein has been improving a lot recently, but he's not going to be playing this match. It's pretty much the standard uh, Avail lineup. Really, really strong runners. And Mac, one of a really good bagger, he actually uh, performed really well in the finals of a uh, World Cup and won uh, the championship for their team. So yeah. it's going to be a really interesting match to see. Definitely, definitely like like players like Mac, Sean, even 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 Vincent coming off of a strong performance in World Cup, coming into coming back to uh, MKPS and. Definitely names that we expect to see, you know, great things going out from players or just really any player coming into this room. Um, but lots of lots of running power coming from both teams. It's definitely going to be a a, a battle of of literally just running and so much more. Um, as far as like baggers, like Mac versus Roy, it's going to be a a very a very strong. Uh, battle coming from both baggers. Uh, who would you personally want to give to the edge coming here? Bagging wise, I gotta give it to Roy. I've begged against him. He's one of the best baggers touching this game. Like he is incredibly good. Knows all the shreds down. And like mind games, like especially when you come to this high team, uh, high divisions, it's not all about who can do the shreds, who can do the RBC, BC, weed nonstop. Because every bagger at this point should be able to do it. It's all about the mind uh, games. And the play that they make, and Roy is such a smart bagger, and I feel like he'll easily, not easily, but should be able to contest against uh, Mac without issues. So, bang wise, I gotta give it to Roy. He's just that good of a bagger. All right, and with that said, um, I, I kind of, I kind of want to go with Mac with this one, just just for the sheer of pure sheer of competition. I think uh, I think Mac had a very strong showing coming throughout the entirety of World Cup. Um, also, being able to nab, you know, USA East the win in World Cup, coming here, he's got to be feeling pretty good in the bagging department recently. So, and I, I definitely think he's going to want to try and bring that momentum from World Cup into MKPS. So, with that, I think, 
I think Mac's going to have a, another strong performance here, and uh, I, uh, I expect some good things out of him. Switching back to running wise, who do you think is going to make the big difference? Not only in, in this, but in terms of play as well. In terms uh, of from play? Each teams, uh, not just one. We can say for both teams. Ta talking out of uh, Avail, so obviously you have players like Olafrey and, and Kevin who are like very, very strong players. Olafrey being like one of the uh, one of the heavy T tiers coming from uh, Avail's team. But I've seen a lot of Kevin. He makes a lot of the like he can also run very well. But I see a lot of him during that like mid pack play. He uh, he can really make a strong difference there from what I've seen in the past. I agree with you. Like they are extremely fast players, as you mentioned. But like we're playing D one and they're facing Metro Wipeout, so being fast is only gonna get you that far if it gets you anywhere. Like, I would say, like, in this specific match, it's going to be who can make the plays, who can... Just who can make the plays. And I feel like Sean is going to be their heavy carrier on their side. Like, he's a really smart player. And I not much to say. Like, he make, he's going to be... I assume he's going to be the main caller for Avell. And if he can do the calls and the plays that he usually does, he's going to carry this team. Not only on Nindus, because I feel like he's also a fast player, but... um calling wise but on metro uh one thing that i have to mention like he's gonna have to face against sandler one of the best players in this game right now he's such a, fa a smart player like i've seen him play just a few times and i'm always mind blow like how does this player come up with these like these plays like he thinks outside of the box and i gotta give him credit for that and i Definitely. feel like he's gonna be the main carrier on metro wipe outside but Leops, like, he's someone that you don't want to sleep on. Actually, anyone on uh, Metro Wipeout's team is someone that you don't want to sleep on. So, so Avell had a really tough task to do. Uh, and beat them. Definitely. We were talking about, like, a strong World Cup showing from, like, the Avail side. But, I mean, MW is is no no different case with uh, Leops having a strong performance for his team. And then also Xander with, a, with an insane performance for Team UK. Exactly. So, one uh, one thing that I gotta mention up part is like it was heartbreaking seeing uh, Netherlands against USA East, like especially the ops. Like they were playing out of their mind, but it was just like they can. Uh, I think they got. Um, I might be mixing uh, matches, but I feel like USA East put an epic comeback at this race, or was that against UK? Uh jeez. Oh, Again. it was against UK. Okay. But still, like, I'm pretty sure Leops is going to bring the momentum from World Cup. Same with Xander. And they're just, like, going to do the best that they could. Like, we saw in the Metro Wipeout versus the Charge Brigade, like, those two players were playing out of their mind on those matches. So I wouldn't expect less from those two. Definitely. And really, anyone in this room is just a player to watch out for. With so much talent coming from both teams, like there's, there's, there's no question about it. We are, we are in for a, a good match to watch. It's okay, not, so, uh, uh, not wrong to say this. This will come down to probably shock, and I don't think it's gonna be only shock still, because yeah, shock is obviously the most powerful item, but like. I feel like these two teams can play around Chuck pretty well, especially match her wipeout. It's gonna, like, as I said before, it's gonna be like who gets the most, uh, the front run presence early on on the race, and who can, like, get the better play with, like, the snipes, the back spams, the slagging. Like, I, I'm just excited that this match start. We have oh, 10 yeah. people in. Uh, predictions for MVP, like in terms of in the city, you think is gonna take it, and who's gonna win this match? Obviously, that is that is very hard. I'm gonna, I want to say the MVP will pro will go to Xander. I think, I, I don't think uh, that's that's even bold to assume with how he's been playing as of recent. He's, like you said, he's an unreal player. So, predicting him to be an MVP will probably not overly confident. How about yourself? I would have to say Xander as well. Like, I wanted to say Sean or Kevin. Like, Xander is just amazing. 
I'm kind of sipping on Zeta at this point, but he deserves it. He's really, really good. And who do you think is going to take the dub? Uh, I'm going to say MW by 12. Mm. I also going to say MW, but I feel like he's going to be a little bit more than that, around 20s. There's well, like, only one way to find out. Uh, don't forget to post in chat hashtag AV win or hashtag Metro Wipeout win to see who. I believe we're going to do a poll uh, to vote for them. Who's going to win? I would want to do it, but I have absolutely no idea how to. So, starting first race, Metro Wipeout alternating spots. Do you think they're going to go with the Maple or. I was going to say Maple, but they're actually going Koopa Cape. Really interesting pick. Just like a really a really good neutral track for really both teams in this scenario. With that like massive stream shortcut just a little bit at the at the mid spot of the track. So those shrooms, those goldens are really gonna come in handy for really both teams because items are gonna be so mixed. Alright, so we're gonna see Koopa Cape in favor of um Avel. Sean starting in second. So let's see how this plays around. I want to see like uh, how they're going to do in terms of who bags and who's um, going to run. Pretty sure like Sean's going to try to get uh, green, but unfortunately doesn't pull an item right there. It's not a situation that he wants to be in. Fox is going to go for the Shroomba and make it. So he already has a small break in first. And Sharon with a Mega not attempting to slag with it. Really interesting, but still giving uh, Metro Wipeout a, a break in top two. If uh, Roy can drop a star for them, just it's going to be gone. Yeah, we're seeing MW2 uh, with top two right now. It looks like AV is also all the, all the mid spots behind, though. Sean having a nice shroom in third. He's going to try and hold us to probably take the cut at the uh, end of the track here uh, while being cautious for any backs, as you saw with the back banana, back green from uh, Sharon right there. And hopefully Sean's going to be able to overtake Sharon right here going into second place. And that's exactly what him. happened. But I believe Fox got a ground star, so he extended his break. They're going to need a blue shell to take um, Fox out of it. And Sean doesn't go for the Shroomba. Maybe opting to hold for protection since uh, Sharon is behind him. But I still feel like it would be worth it to gain some ground on Fox because they're just going to break away easily. Definitely. But there's a blue shell, actually. Blue shell coming out, taking Fox out. And that's going to get Sean right in the first. Uh, Sean also going to have to be wary of any back spams that might have been dropped by... Uh by any players going last lap, but he's going to really try and hold the fort on this front run here. Not really sure who's behind him. As you see right there, as a quick dodge for the banana tight. Dropped the star, but a little bit too late on the uh, oh. on the call, and Sean just hits the wall. And both Metro Wipeout players go get those stars. That is really unfortunate. Like, if I was um, Mac, I would just drop that star earlier because he wasn't contested, but I guess he was trying to do as late as possible, so... Um, Roy wouldn't steal um, the star from them. Definitely. But he just gets bumped high anyway, so that's going to be his race. John gets TC'd, and then he also gets a weird pocket of air, and he goes off the track. Now he's sitting in seventh. Switching to Mac POV already has shot, so this looking good for um, a veil, and they already use it. All if they're dodging in a build, but he's too far behind off, and I believe he was the only one who dodged, so it's not going to help him a lot. Sean also getting a golden here. He's going to really try and just golden away as he can, but to to, to no avail. It doesn't look like he's going to really be able to to gain much on uh, on this. Maybe snag, snagging seventh here and maybe potentially something quick, but it looks like AV all around those those mid-bottom spots. So it is, he's not going to be able to pick up too much ground on that, and I think he's going to walk away with sixth place. Unless if uh, avail got first place, that's going to be a huge winning race from Metro Lightbound. The shock was good, but unfortunately, Oliver was just too far behind to take advantage of anything with that dodge. I think, it, like, if he got that bail earlier on the race, he, sh he should have just used it. Or even if he got it later on, he should just use, um, get up there and try to get a second dodge because it was just too far behind to take advantage of it. Coming up, we're seeing a one three though, uh, six seven for AV. So not not a bad race altogether, considering the shock. With the build dodge, I guess it was Alfre was good enough to actually get third out of it. So, okay, I guess I gotta retake my words. I was not expecting him to get third. I gotta give him props for that. Because yeah. if it was me, I would definitely not get third place. Maybe, maybe there's more than meets the eye. I don't know. Alfre really clutching it out and getting that third with that build dodge. 
So 1, 3, 6, 8, 7, and they already picked Koopa Cape. What do you expect them to pick? Do you think they're going to go with Coconut Mall, maybe, or DDR? Uh, oh, I guess you already got your answer. <laughs> <laughs> and BC3 uh, yeah. coming for... Oh, only one pick for BC3. I'm actually impressed they're picking RBC. Because, uh, like, people... A lot of people like to pick RBC when they're, like, 2, 4, 5 or something like that. But at this... Um, this um, playing field, like people are just not gonna get free drafts. They have to. If you are in the bottom spot, you really have to predict your opponent ahead of you if you want to get that draft. So try to draft anyone in the middle spots to get up there. Yeah, that's just it. If you want to get a draft, you gotta work for it, baby. That's just it. As for that, Sean's gonna get a get a nice little draft off Sharon here. It's not gonna really take him too far ahead, but he's gonna be able to hit a box in fourth here. Single green coming up for Sean. You might actually try and get a snipe coming up on this. Next straight with uh, Leops, literally MW234 looking like right now with uh, Vincent still holding it down in first for now. Ooh, those triple runes are going to be helpful. You can just spam it off to the Superman and get two people. Oh, that was a little bit earlier and he goes down by his Nana, uh, teammate Snena. He's going to have to do a lot of work to catch up. And the, the brutal single red in seventh for Sean right there. He's, he's literally just going to have to spam that away. Try and uh, get a better item coming up on this uh, this setup here after Spiral. He doesn't opt to slow down, so Avel. I believe Avel is occupying most of, at least one three. From what I can see, yeah, it looks like they got a, li a little bit, a little bit of uh, that healthy medium, a little bit up front, a little bit in the back. So, seeing that looks like Vincent up in uh, up in third right now. So, yeah, one three four. Yeah, one three four for uh, Avel right now. Yeah, okay, so Kevin in first. We're seeing a single shroom being held by Sean right now. Uh, probably just going to opt to take this grass cut here to maybe try and edge past Xander at the grass cut. Uh, uh, Xander also had a shroom as well. It looks like Xander had the same idea. Xander is in a really tough position, uh, surrounded by Metro uh, Avail players right here. He's going to have to use the best that he can get from this item box right here to break their top spots before they can run away, but Sean goes... The TC, I don't think he will be able to blast his Hender. Or maybe not. He's gonna maybe pass not, it. Oh, not quite. Looks like Xander had a Shroom in his pocket and he is gone and out. And we see Mech holding the shock right now, so I'm really in a really, really good position right here. Holding top, uh, I believe top two as of now. Metro Hypo is gonna have to do a lot of work in order to. Um, in order to, uh, recover from this race definitely they're gonna hope what they have is in the cards it looks like sean's gonna be grinding for uh maybe a dodge here doesn't look like it's gonna get as he does get the uh a trip a pair of triple shrooms right there he might try and go for a start this set coming up another set of triple shrooms just no dice for sean right now he's really just trimming up trying to find whatever can shot coming in for a veil all free dodging up in omega coming up seeing it uh, trying to get as much as he can here I believe they target shot one of Metro White Pop members who, who was able to sneak up into first place. So that was a really good shot for Avail, but I feel like they still got most of them, uh, middle spots. So unless if they got first, that's going to be another winning race for Metro White Pop. Definitely. One of those things that it looked like it was just perfectly scattered into the point where it's it's a little bit too hard to call coming from uh, coming from a back perspective. But it looked like it was a, a pretty a pretty decent split coming from uh, both teams in this race. I gotta give credit to Metro iPod. They managed to get the uh, break their top two, despite not having shock. They actually got a winning race out of it. Uh, good job, Metro iPod. Once again, surprising me. L looking like a plus, to... plus one looking like? It was indeed a plus one. Uh, Metro iPod down two, going to race three right now. Yeah, definitely. So it's still like uh, obviously only after two races, but only a two point lead going for for Avail right now. So definitely, uh, definitely the turnout of what 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 we're expecting, as in a very close match, anyone's game. It's very good. I expect it to be kind of like a seesaw, right? Sometimes we'll go to one end, sometimes the other, but we'll uh, we shall see what they're going into next as. Uh, not really sure what both teams are going to be looking for. Probably one of the maybe like a neutral track coming out. 
seen some yeah dry dry ruins versus mushroom gorge so a lot of those neutral tracks with those like last second shortcuts as well to help out the uh players stuck at the back so you know see ddr actually that's really good for metro white pilot because i believe leops is in first and he's just gonna easily break away so a veil has to do whatever they can do to just break their uh, prevent Ellie up from just running away freely. Yeah, definitely. They're really gonna have to do whatever they can. Get get the like grind for the shrooms for the ultra takers. Really, just do what you can. Sean hitting a box in eight, but only getting triple shrooms out of it. You might actually just try and grind for a golden with this next set coming up here. Oh, you, you viewers didn't get to see it, but like Mac tried to do a really interesting play bagging wide, but unfortunate, um, he just gets betted off. So we Although, see Sean with a bullet build though, but he's gonna be forced to use it since the uh, Metro Wipeout is winning the dual bag right now. That's just that Sean's gonna get rid of the bill, so if there's a chance, he might actually hit it and get the bill if he hasn't already pulled it at this current point in time. That was a really unfortunate bill drop, and right now we see most of the bill in the bottom spots, and a seven place boober is sadly something that he don't want right here. Definitely, Plus he's really. He's really just going to be looking for more shrooms to take that ultra for this lap. He gets a mega though, so not too bad. Um, fortunately, uh, hitting a mega in fifth right now. Um, AV three, four, five, six. So MW two with a top two, bottom two currently at the moment. And I believe that um, Roy is already holding shock, so we do see Sean attempting the ultra with a mega. Able to do it, but it's only going to get him into second place. His first is just gone. Yeah, as you can see, Xander with this really nice established breakaway. He's gotten first right now, and at this point, it doesn't look like he's going to be losing it anytime soon. He's got that really healthy front run. You know, Sharon in third also occupying a top spot, too. It's looking like MW could have a pretty uh, strong race. Maybe even 1-3-4 looking like for MW at the moment. Yeah, MW doing, uh, obviously holding the shock, because if they do shock here, uh, Max is just going to drop a star for... Oh, but the red's um, coming out, getting him on the line. Looks like it's going to be a top three for MW, maybe. Oh, but that was just unfortunate. Ooh. I was going to say, like, if they shock here, uh, Max was going to drop a star for Sean, and he would definitely got first, but he just didn't need it. He just got redded. And that could have been actually a top four for Metro Wipeout. Maybe. That's absolute tough break for uh, AV right there with that with that red it was well, a good job on Roy for um uh, getting the shock right there I really wanted to see if um, yeah top four oh that is just not something that he won going to race three That's... it's gonna be hard to come back Avel needs a really good race to not give any sort of momentum to uh, Metro Wipe power going into GP2 yeah, that's just a really, really tough break for AV where the, you just have that one that uh, I think it was Sean occupying second. You know, that that would have been fine. He could, you know, the one, three, four. So what? It's it's a bounce backable race. And then just one red shell just sends him spiraling back. And the next thing you know, it's just it's top four right there. <laughs> just an absolutely tough break for Sean. So we actually see Peach Gardens from... Uh, avail one of my favorite reset tracks actually because like it depends on how well you distribute uh your players role at the beginning that can decide the race obviously some item luck is going to be involved but uh really good it's actually going to be a pick actually i see how both teams are going to play around um in this track Definitely. What, what I expect to maybe happen is maybe you'll see like a like a top two run, top two or bottom two bag for like MW, or they might even just send one up and three back. It's it's really interesting to see how some teams are are willing to you know uh, play the, around this track. You know, starting in top four. I was gonna say that Fox would be able to contest for that eighth place box since Metro iPod is holding most of the top spot, but he just gives the Sean a free golden. Manages to get into first place right now, but he does not have any more shrooms to go with it, unfortunately. So he's gonna have to do some heavy back spamming, and oh. that is definitely not gonna help. Oh no, that that really that really awkward bounce right there gives him a bunch of unwanted air, and he just gets flinged right into the grass. 
he's still not in the worst position ever, but having that front running presence would help avail a lot. So he's just gonna have to use the best of the golden and hope that none of the Metro Wipeout have shrooms, but I believe Fox is actually holding into a dodge and he squishes uh, the Veil Beggar actually, but he did not have shot though. Yeah, definitely a nice little golden to have though if you're Sean though. It's gonna get you at least back up pretty close to top spots anyways. If not so much the spot he was currently in, but definitely having a little bit more of that, that presence through the mid. At this point, AV is going to want to really try and grind these mid boxes to try and get that blue shell, though. Or even the shrooms. Like, since uh, Fox tried to squish at the other bag, it means that no uh, shock is in play right now. And Mac pulls the bill, and he actually, uh, you guys can see, but Mac actually did a really good play of pretending that he had shock. He started driving forward, and Roy wasted his start to get the bill out of him. So still no shock in play. We see uh, early golden from Sean. And a 1-3 actually for uh, Avail. Um, Oliver doesn't get to connect with the Mega, but he's still in a really good position. Yeah, yeah. right now it looks like we're seeing a nice little top two for AV at the moment, but MW very close behind them, specifically Sharon. So we'll, we'll see if he can't uh, try and maybe make a nice little snipe. Looks like Kevin coming up though. So it looks like we might be seeing a top three at the moment for Avail. Oh, this is going to be a huge race. Oh, Stark going up for Xander, though. He's coming in a star. He's able to dodge the pal with that star, though. Hits a banana, though. It's going to give AV top two. I believe top two, bottom two for Avail. Really well played from Avail, I got to say that. Um, kudos to Mac for just not giving up and give them a free shot. It was unfortunate that um, Roy wasn't able to get it, though, since he was majority of the time in 10th place. Especially if you're like if you're Xander right there, that's just rough because it looked like he he because he had triple greens around him, but it looks like he landed on the Nana or something like that. Personally, if I was Xander, I would just threw the greens earlier uh, before the pile because um, he when he threw, he was only able to hit one of the um, Avel members, and uh, he actually managed to dodge. Still a really good race for Avel. Uh, it gave him the momentum they needed uh, going into the next GP. And at, at that point, like a win, like a winning race like that, it's it's one of those like small victories that's going to help you chip away at that lead because right now they're battling a top four. So they're really going to have to take what whatever they can to scrape away off that lead to really just bring it closer back to uh, back to their uh, grasp and obtaining this uh, this W. I gotta give kudos to um, Mac, who's actually doing a really good job. And uh, allowing a veil to be contesting against Metro Eye Power right now with the shock pulls and the plays as well. Definitely, Mac doing a uh, really good job getting all these shocks. He's really just killing it right now and uh, in the back for AV. And you can only hope that this uh, this continues for AV going into uh, going into the GPS two and three with these shocks that he's able to get. I mean, they can keep chipping away at this lead piece by piece. Yeah, but it's definitely not going to be an easy test since uh, not uh, remembering you that he's facing Roy, one of the best baggers in this game right now. So it's only going to be a matter of time until things switch around. Oh, obviously, no easy, no easy feat to you know outbag baggers like like Roy, so, uh, a player who's been you know, around the game for a long time at this point, has like years and years of experience going back. No. Uh, Obviously not down flying Mac or anything like that. However, it's uh, it's not going to be easy. We do see another Mushroom Gorge from um, from Avail and Coconut Mall from Metal Wipeout. See, Coconut Mall is that one three to go track, not Maple Tree Way. Like, I understand that like one three is good for Maple Tree Way, but just just one three is not enough. Cause yeah, third can hop and cut. He has better alignment. But then first place has like second four and possibly six behind them. So it's really tough um, to stay up there when you have so many uh, enemy players behind you, especially on this uh, field of play. But it doesn't really matter since we're going to be uh, seeing Mushroom Gorge. Yeah, Mushroom Gorge coming out. Obviously one of those great neutral tracks for both teams. As you got that that cut coming at the very end of the track, saves a, a, a bunch of time for you know, any player taking it, so it's really going to be the uh, the decider of how this race is going to play out. 
seeing AV going in top two right now with uh, all of Frey and uh, Sean right now. Having a nice top two, but MW, uh, just a bunch of them just behind. So guaranteed at least one of them has shrooms to try and overtake this top two. We do see Leops in the Megan. He actually squishes Vincent. That was a really good uh, play for him. But he oh. only managed to squish one, and I believe, uh, who was it, Charon went down with um, a Trell Green from Sean? Uh, looks like it. And then they had a nice little shroom from Vincent pop out on Sean as well to really edge him a little bit closer despite uh, all the uh, all the sh all the shroom ups, the megas, everything like that. Uh, M switches to MW being top two right now, though. So the tides have definitely turned at this point in the race. Yeah, but keep in mind that none of... Actually, I was going to say that none of Metro, Metro Wipeout members have shroom, but Xander just pulled it out there. So I believe it's a... Uh... Top uh, one, three, four, five for Metro I thought, but Sharon goes down with uh, with a red shell, and Sean pulls a TC in fifth. Definitely not the item that he wants. He can maybe try to pass to uh, Metro I thought beggar, but he's holding a star, so that should be his race. Oh, not but he gets a mega here, though. so there might be a chance. He might be able to swing this back if there's if there's a shock or anything like that to really slow down the room for Sean. It goes over the box. Which is yeah, so that's unfortunate. Race. That's that's going to be a game ender for Sean right there. And the shot coming out, and he is off the track. That shot also yes, and Vincent preventing him to take cut. So that's a bottom three for a uh, a Vel. Uh, no, not yeah. Uh, six, five, se uh, seven, eight for a Vel. So huge race for a Metro Right Power right now, and it's going to extend the lead. It's definitely something that. Avail did not want, especially with their track pick. Definitely, and on a race like MG, like when when a team has a shock, it's gonna be brutal. Ooh, a top three six for Metro Wipeout. That's huge. Definitely, that's gonna that's gonna even increase the dent into their uh, into their lead going into the uh, almost the midway point of this uh, this this war right now. One thing that I gotta say, uh, if Metro Wipeout gets the track pick, Avail is in quite of a trouble. Because I'm definitely seeing them either picking uh, Maple Tree or, or B2E, which are two of the roughest tracks to come back on, unless it's Shock. But I'm pretty sure like they cannot um, contend, uh, hoping to get a Shock in this field of play. But we actually see Mountain. I actually yeah. forgot that Metro Wipeout is a a favorite of a mountain. Mountain coming out for MW. AV praying to the gods of, you know, the AV mole. So really, really hoping they can really get something going on on, on uh, Mumu, but only time will tell with a, with, a, with a track like this, you know, a pretty, a pretty big shortcut that can give you a decent cutoff if, uh, especially if you're chaining it to a dodge, so. I gotta give, uh, like, Avail is a team that they like to experiment with uh, tracks that are outside of the meta, and I gotta give uh, credit for that, like, not many people are willing to do so, but obviously that's something that's not gonna work out that easily with Metro Wipeout, since they have, like, I would assume they have experience with uh, silly tracks like this. Oh, definitely, oh. and I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a part of the game, so at, at this point, you never know when it could be, it could get picked. Um, and especially in a format like this, you know, M MW holding out like top two right now, AV three four just holding holding it all back. Um, it looks like uh, Vincent enters second off that, but oh, he actually gets put back down. So oh, AV in that really terrible situation. They're holding most of their middle spots, so they're not going to get any dodges unless Mega. And the pack is extremely spread out. So if no blue shells happen, there should be an easy dub for Metro Wipeout. Definitely, and also, uh, we'll, we'll quickly switch to the baggers right here. Uh, with uh, Mac right now, holding it on, onto a bill in 10th uh, right now, so... Good chance either... Ro oh, it looks like Roy doesn't have it either, so no shock in play right now for both baggers. Uh, going Mac back to the end right. to... Oh, we see a shock coming on the line. Ron getting redded on the line. It looks like he's actually going to get passed by Leops too. Okay, so I got to give a quick rundown on what I believe happened. I could be wrong. But, like, Mac tried to 
obeyed Roy of having the shock again, but I believe Roy had the shock, so he knew it was a useless bait and just shocked there and gave uh, Metro Wipeout a huge race, betting Sean on the line. I believe a top two four. I, I'm not mistaken. sure because it when when Mac used the bill, it looked like uh, Roy was shrooming, so he might have just pulled it at that point and then just spammed it. Not not entirely sure on that one, but it looked it looked like a pretty pretty close call sort of thing. Well, I actually got two four. I thought that um Metro Ipile got up to. But it was still a good, a good race for them because Adele cannot going to race seven. They just cannot offer any more of these winning races to Adele. They either gotta like take a lot of like small wins, like plus five, plus seven, plus ten, uh, 11, uh, eleven, or just get like one big race and go back and come back um, to the war. That's it. And something like this, I think they're really praying for one of those big races right now. Obviously, you, you give such a such a gap of a lead to MW, though. They're one of those teams that are going to take it and just completely run with it. So it's really in Avail's hands if they can if they can try and come back in this war and not let MW really stretch out this lead any further. So we do see Grumble Volcano, a, re a really even pick for both teams right now. Uh, Metro Ipo, uh, their top spot is definitely going to look to run and maybe try to get like a decent box uh, left too. But, uh... Ooh, that was a really good uh, fifth snipe attempt. I would actually been impressed with that hit because it's such a weird angle to hit on. You got to be extremely precise. Definitely. And it's even so much so to go for a snipe like that and not... not completely demolish your line at the same time. Yeah, this is just a type of plays that um, these players can do easily with the amount of uh, practice and experience that they have. So Definitely. I believe it's... Uh, I'm not sure who's there in first that took cut. Oh, it's actually Leop. So a top 2-4 for um, Metro Ipo right now. And then yeah, Sean gets a nice golden in fifth, but gets uh, gets quickly schlagged right there with the triple green. So that puts him all the way back in seventh right now. Probably gonna be seeing Sean start goldening up in just a moment. And... Oh, but um, Avell actually has shock right now, so it's actually uh, Avell is in a really good position right now. They're all opting to go for rock, knowing that um, Mac will not be getting a second shock. So it depends if they can get the shrooms, they can have a huge race. Even though like Fox and the Ops have a decent break, if none of them have shrooms and they, the avail members can get shrooms in the middle spot, they can definitely break the top two. Definitely right now, like a perfect Cinderella story right now for Sean is to pull a shroom, but unfortunately he gets a nice little TC in third, and it's just absolutely gonna gonna really just put a massive uh, dent on Sean's race. He might get a TC off the track actually, which is exactly what happens. Sean is off the track. We might actually see the, a shot coming in as well. Oh, only one of them member dodge. That was not the shot that I was expecting for. That's still going to be a huge race. The only thing they could have they accomplished with that shot call was damage control. But it's not something that Avell wants to do in this position since they're already losing by quite a decent amount to Metro Wipeout. At, at a point like that, it's it's almost like a like a final desperation call. You see, like MW or like top two, they're they're really just running away with it. Sean is in third, who is you know the only AV member currently surrounding them. Gets a TC in third. At that point, like you're you're already just so boned. There's nothing you can do when you're you're Sean in that moment. The best the best thing is either pray to God your team gets dodges or gets shrooms really close together, or just. I don't know. Cancel the TC and hope your team has dodges. But... So a one three four from Metro Wipeout. Vincent doing a good job breaking the top three, but it's not enough. They're gonna need a huge race in this race, so they can have some sort of chance going into the last GP, or that might just be it for um a veil for this match. Definitely gonna be a hard one to come back from a from a deficit like this, and especially against a team. Like, like MW, they're they're really gonna do all they can to make sure that they're going to put you down at any any chance they get. 
So I wonder what track pick is the Veil gonna go. Are we gonna see the Delfino Square or are they gonna go? Oh, Sherby Land actually. That's actually not the worst um, track for um, for Avel right now since uh, first place is a really rough position to start. But I would assume like Metro Wipeout players are uh, already used to starting, but it doesn't really matter since we're gonna see a Maple Treeway. See, these are the spots that you wanna pick when going Maple Treeway. One, three, four, third hops and cut and fourth dress first. So they have like a front running presence and a really good item being pulled by third in the middle of the pack. Yeah, definitely. So it's really going to opt for a lot, a lot more item strategy coming out if uh, if it's if it's executed, like obviously, uh, to the best way possible. Uh, Sean, we're seeing, not actually getting a box. He's going to bring himself up to fifth right now, and still, right. still no boxes available for Sean. So he's really just going to have to hope his, hopefully he can just try and get one of these boxes up up of this uh, coming set right here. Uh, they're holding most of the um, top spots right now. I think it's a uh, two, three, five for them right now. But Sean's still not able to get a box. He, just, he literally just. Oh, I think he like, gets off the track with the reds. That is just Ooh, unfortunate. That's such a tough break for Sean. Thankfully for Avell, the ups goes down with him, and we see like middle spots. I believe Metro Wipe is still holding it to first place, but Avell either two, four, or two, three. And, and there's uh, a bomb coming off, and Leofs is completely lit up, so that's going to bring Sean into sixth, holding a nice little star here. Uh, we're going to quickly switch to the baggers real quickly, as we saw just Mac coming out and getting a nice little, uh, looked like a shock in ninth, actually. Holding it in 10th right now, so a very good position for where AV wants to be, especially with Sean holding the star in sixth right now. Oh, and as soon as we switch... Uh perspective Roy nearly star bash um Mac right here and they were forced to use the early shock. Uh TSing a uh, Metro Wipeout players in the nest instead of going with the predictable cannon a uh, shock. It's actually looking really good. I believe uh top two four for uh top two five for Avel and uh Sean has triple reds. If he managed to connect at least one of them, he's gonna get put Avel in a good a good position which they do. Looks like a connected red box right there. Sharon is a really tough situation right here because he has to perfectly time the red shell to avoid a uh, Sean's red. Let's see how he does it. Oh, he actually. Oh, I thought he picked up the ground star, and yeah, he doesn't go. He doesn't get star though. So top two five for Avell right now. Depending on what Sean gets here, it might be a really good, a huge race for um, Metro Ipa, But only a single red it should not connect and goes down with the green shell. Real smart uh, backspin from Metro Ipa. Yeah, definitely. He's going to try and like, just barely misses the box. And there's also going to be a shock coming out here. Sean getting a little bit TS on the net. And he's really gonna not going to be able to pull anything else. So he's going to have to settle with sixth here, unfortunately. That was a good Metro iPod shock. Since they had no dodges, they tried a less ditch effort attempt to shock into the ramp and maybe scramble a position. But I don't think that happens. So they all had a somewhat of a comfortable lead going to that last straightaway. So it should be a top two, uh, seven eight or six eight for Avell. I couldn't really tell who got. Um... It was looking like six eight. I think Leops got uh, seven. Oh no, guess Leops got last. Top two six seven. A good race for Avell, but it's not that huge race that they needed um, to go back into the last GP. But it's still they're still in a winnable position. But it's just a really tough mountain to climb since they have to come back against Metro Wipeout, arguably one of the best um, current teams are playing in this event. Yeah, definitely. It's they're... nothing easy to really come back from a deficit like this. Uh, one thing that I got to say that um, uh, the winner of the Summer Split will get a con uh, confirmed place on the uh, last... Eighth uh, tournament is actually, I believe, it's being discussed if there's actually going to be twelve teams making to the final event or only eight. Would you like to just see eight teams, or would you like to uh, scramble up to twelve? Hmm. It, it really, it really just comes down to, I guess, how how everyone else uh, feels. But I think, I think eight is pretty solid because I remember not too a while ago. 
they did a Division 1, I can't remember if it was for CSL or WL, where they did a Division 1 with 8 teams. And it, it worked, I think it worked out okay. I'm not really sure how this, uh, how this tournament would actually go. I still need to do my homework on that, but I feel like, I feel like eight teams is pretty, a pretty solid place. Um, I don't know. I don't think they need to amp it up to 12, but. I believe it's actually going to be a double, element, a double bracket tournament instead of a normal division going to the last event. One thing that I got reminded you to the viewers. The winner of the whole MK Pro Series event is going to receive around 1.2k dollars in money price. So it's definitely something um, to keep your uh, hopes going and to play for. So we see uh, Metro iPod finally getting DK Mountain. They're extremely good at this track. Like they already know all the blind uh, backspam spots. So. The bill is in a really tough situation. They're either gonna like need to get the front running presence ASAP, which I think they fell at the beginning, or just hope that uh, Mac uh, is able to clutch the shock like he did on the past few races and bring them up there. I mean, AV, a no, no, uh, no doubt they they have the potential to uh, clutch on this track as we have seen before. So it's definitely not out of the question to see. Uh, AV also having the potential to pull good races on DK Mountain as well. I guess it really all just depends on how it uh, how it goes through. This was a check where they got the top five in um, tied against the Metro iPod on the spring split. Uh, that would be a, I think it was a top four seven, and I think you're thinking of CB. Yeah, it was top four seven. Yeah, it's all, it's they all, managed all, to uh, something. So yeah, Avell does have a, a history on this track, but it's still a huge track for Metro iPod. I believe they're occupying top two four. Oh, um, Sharon actually goes down. Not Sharon, uh, Leops goes down. Yeah, I'm still seeing a, a very impressive top two for MW right now. Looks like uh, Vincent's making his way up though, so we could see very much, depending on who has shock right here, but it might not even be in play. No, Roy's driving forward, he definitely has shot right here. He might dodge bottom spots or wait until the very end. Oh, we oh, see yeah. the bottom spot dodge. So, a really terrible situation for Avell. If they don't pull the blue shell, they might be out of the the race and maybe the war. Because if they give another a Metro, Metro Wipeout another big race, it might be mathematically impossible to come back. You saw that red coming up for all of It looks like riding one of like AV, but also one of MW. And then the random green also takes him out. Sean's second cut here. He's gonna need to try and make some sort of snipe on Xander here to really even out this playing field. It doesn't look like anything is gonna connect though, and AV is gonna have to settle for what it looks three, four, five. Yeah, he, um, Xander was just too far away from Sean to be able to do anything. Like he had more than enough time to react to anything that uh, Sean wanted to try to, but he still managed to control most of the mid spots for damage control. But as I said countless times before, this is not the position that. Uh, Veil wants and he wants they want to get big winning races and not damage control races. That's it, and that's exactly what they honestly need is these these big races to really really even out this playing field and they don't actually have a whole lot of time left, so if they want to do it, this is the time to to really get in gear and get these massive races to make try and make some sort of a comeback. So it was a plus seven race for Metro iPod. They're up 61 with three races left. Unless if we see uh, a top three, the next race is going to be over for a belt. They're going to be mathematically impossible to catch up. Definitely. So, do you think they're going to switch the strategy and go with some sort of a gamble track like Shia Beach or Desert Hills to try to change the momentum or just a regular Sherbet Land actually? Yeah, definitely Sherbet Lane. You know, tracks like Sherbet Lane, BC3, you also have those, like, that cheese potential, right? And I think that's what they're going to need to try and look at now. As, you know, they don't need these, like, plus, like, five, plus, you know, single-digit wins. They need these, like, plus 20, 21s, plus, like, 29s, all this. All those things that really catch them up, and that, like, right now. Because they don't really have a choice going into the last three of this uh, this match. Oh, but we're going to be seeing BC3, another extremely 
a uh, favorable attack from Metro Whitebox and said all of their players are extremely consistent at the shortcut. Especially Leops, I wouldn't be surprised if we were just dropped from first place to take it, but I believe it's actually less getting a power item and gonna be attempting to take it up to the first. If I was a VLD, they're gonna need at least one player to sacrifice for actually they can't really afford to do it. Cause they're gonna need as many uh top spots as possible. And if they do sacrifice one player to prevent them from taking Ultra, they're just giving away uh, three top positions for the Metro White Pot. And we already see the pack extremely spread out. I believe it's, uh, that's actually top three, uh, no, top two for uh, Metro White Pot. All the three being behind them, but this is not a really good position for Abel. They're gonna need some sort of miracle to break their top two. Definitely, and you see like a pack like that, you're at least hoping you can at least pull like five or six blues back to back to stop something like that. They're they're very far, far and gone, so any any hope that Avail wants in terms of, you know, catching up is gonna be heavily reliant on the number of blue shells or even the shock. You see a nice little blue coming up for Sean though, so that's gonna definitely get them started in where they wanna be. Opting to go for uh Ultra here, but the shock coming out. Gonna completely oh, negate and then he is off the track completely. Wait, is that um the guy in gone in first uh, Metro Ipal player? I believe it is. That's, yeah, that, they they just won it. Like, there's no way Avell's gonna be able to catch up. Even though it's PC3 and there's a huge amount of boxes, there's like no way they're gonna be able to change so many blues to break their first place. And I don't even think a 2 3 4 5 is enough to be in the game after Natalie. No, I don't think so. I think you're actually right. Uh, that is really unfortunate. I was I actually hope like Avail played really well, um, but unfortunately the only uh, the big um, reason why they were managed to put to get, uh, stay close in the match at the beginning was because of Mac, which is clutching up with the shocks. Talking about clutching up with shocks, he does have shock right now, but it might be a little bit too late for Avail. And we see Sean just. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think I think Sean has uh has given up. It's a nice little scrub dodge though, Nate. We'll see what he can. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he goes for the no stop ultra to flex for the viewers, but unfortunately yeah. doesn't pull it. You gotta really respect the attempt the though. Events. Like, even though they beat a Metro Wipeout at the beginning, like they were not as active in the beginning of the event, but like recently they just pulled together and been an extremely scaring team to face on. Yeah, so. definitely. Absolutely brutal for Sean. One of those, one of those, at this point, like, if you really like look at like Sean's gameplay throughout this war, it's, it's kind of just been a story of just being very unfortunate with items, at least from what I've seen anyways. You know, he's, he's got a lot of those TCs in third, really, really a lot of those, those items that you don't really want to see when you're trying to break another team's top two or top two four top three esque i agree with you but like then again like they were not able not just sean but like the rest of the team were not able to uh get up there um and break the early metro ipod spots because if they get the front rank presence it's going to be near to impossible to take away from them unless Obviously, a blue shell or a huge shock, which they did uh, do in the early races, but it's only like luck would eventually turn out around and Roy proving himself to be a worthy opponent for Mac. Definitely. And I do, I'm not entirely sure because at the start of the war, it looked like Mac was, Mac had the edge with shocks, but then at, I guess something in GP2, Roy was able to just really switch that and he started getting shocks of his own and then when when mw was shocking it was just a lot bigger of shocks than than when like avail was like using it so really just showing how how hard they can really utilize these these shocks and to give them these big races which is no no reason not to see why they're uh as far ahead as they are in the in point differential with uh sean getting a first box eighth so Gets, uh, gets a bill, and he's gonna be gonna try and run this as far as he really can up in the sixth place here. Just barely evading that bomb from Leofs though, so Sean being able to really just hold on to this bill and go as far as he really can with this. 
Hoping, I'll that, be um... hoping for a, a Shumas BCB glitch attempt for Sean to see holding bell because you already lo lost, you might as well just like go for the big plays. He's actually gonna be forced to use um, the bill and Metro Wipe with the early break, but Sean Alex is gonna be breaking it. Oh, and that was a really interesting lag from uh, Fox because uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like Fox. Oh. Okay. As I was trying to say, I don't know if you guys noticed, but like Fox teleported to the side um, and then made him uh, Sean pass. And because Sean passed uh, him, like the bill ended sooner than it was actually supposed to. He was not able to break into first, and, that, and that's the top four for a bill. Yikes. Ooh, and then, yeah, Leop's getting that TC pass over the Sean. Sean just not being able to do anything about it, and then the TC shocking him completely off the track, which is absolutely just rough right now, if you're, uh, you're in Sean's case. Not, not looking uh, too promising for Sean, but hopefully he can he can try and just get like a golden or maybe even another bill, something they really catch him up, and there you go. Another bill on eighth. He's on his way up, but looks like AP occupying, or AV, apologies. Um... You know, occupying a lot of these these bottom spots here. Well, there's not really much to say. Like Metro iPod just has the majority of the top spots. I believe still top four, and uh, I'm pretty sure Roy might be holding shock as, uh, right now. So there's just no way that uh, Evel is going to be able to break um, their top three. Definitely it's just not. really unfortunate to say, like, Avel is actually the team that has potential to contest and maybe even defeat Metro Wipeout, but I guess, like, luck wasn't on their side. Metro Wipeout was playing at their possible best, so it, it was just unfortunate to see. Kudos to Avel for trying and good job on Metro Wipeout for showing the dominance and why uh, people should fear them as a team. Definitely, and li like we were saying, like a team like M MW Metro Wipeout, like this this lineup they're using is as, as one of the strongest lineups that you could possibly run into in in, in all of all of the game. So it's it's no surprise to see them just playing complete lights out against the Vale right now. Okay, so uh, with this, uh, Metro Wipeout is actually going to be getting the first seed. And uh, with that, they will be able to choose uh, which team they want to play. Um, coming from D2 up, in case you guys are not aware of, after the um, this week, we're going to go into a gauntlet. I think that's how you pronounce it. A gauntlet bracket. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, you don't have to do me like that, win uh, winner. But yeah, um... Which means like the D7 teams are gonna play D6, and then the winner of that is gonna play D5, uh, and so on and so forwards. And the their position determines like the first seed of the higher division is gonna be able to pick first who they're gonna uh, want to face from the lower division, and then the second is gonna be second, so on and so forwards. Which is definitely something that you want to do. Like, you just want to give yourself like the chance of like an easy dub to the next. Uh, to the next round, because you definitely don't want to play like, especially on this uh, season where there were a lot of uh, underseeded teams because they didn't play um, enough events on the summer split, like Metro Wipeout 2 and HRST, which are currently D4. So yeah, you want to get as much of a higher seed as possible, and uh, Metro Wipeout securing their first seed, meaning that they can pick whichever team they want, coming from D2 or below. Definitely, and like having having that, being able to decide who you want to play against is such a su such a key thing for uh, for MW because it's basically like pretty much a free round up until the next round. If you if you want to just decide who you want to play against, you can just you can pick a team who you're fully confident that that you think you can you can beat, and really just you know try and stack the odds against the other team. Ooh, and we actually see uh, Roy <laughs> getting the shock while Mac was in the strat. That was really heartbreaking for Mac, I would assume. But, uh, yeah, one thing that I want to talk about is um, the 
the bracket tournament we're gonna have uh, after this week. I'm actually excited to see, because as I mentioned before, we do have a decent amount of underseeded teams playing in lower divisions, so we're gonna maybe see a lot of upsets. Who do you think is gonna make it to the top eight at the end of the round two? Because like the first three, uh, the first three rounds is gonna be played uh, this weekend, and then the next weekend we uh, D four. The winner of D four is gonna play D three, and the winner of D three is gonna play D two, and it's gonna be a, a top, I believe, a top eight position. Who do you think is gonna be uh, get in there? Uh, I th I think. From the top eight, I don't think it's going to be anyone that you wouldn't you wouldn't expect to be in top eight. Um, I, th I think you're going to end up seeing a lot of a lot of teams already, you know, fully represented in D1. Um, but I definitely do think that like teams like obviously we haven't really talked too much about teams like Dara. There, there, I think they'll be pretty up there. Uh, Valakor also proven to be strong contenders as well. Um, I don't I don't really think we'll. Uh, We'll see anything that we we won't expect. Um, I think, and, and then there's also some really good teams out there as well. Like I, I don't, I'm not really sure what their team's looking like right now, but uh, Apocalypse, their their teams have been also improving themselves too. So um, I'm not really sure in terms of top eight for the two teams accompanying what we've already uh, what we already see in uh, Division One. But I think I'd want to add maybe Velikor and Dara to the mix. I actually think it's the opposite. Aside from like Metro Ipo, Ethereal, the Wally Walks that are definitely going to be in top 8. I feel like there's going to be a lot of upsets coming from the lower team divisions. Because we see teams like Gun and um, mainly Gun playing out of their... Out of their uh, way right now, they're actually been performing a little well. Going 5-0, I believe. Oh, actually, they're 4-0. Uh, they're facing a. They just faced. Um, it's Warriors of Time. I'm not 100% sure if they won, but I would assume they did. So, yeah, uh, Gun definitely playing really well. Obviously, I believe VC is gonna make it up there as well. Uh, who else? Uh, very, very interesting take. Uh, I guess the only way we can really see is to, uh, or the only way we can really tell is to just wait and see, I suppose. Um, oh, but I really don't want to. I just, I'm so excited to see the end of this tournament. You and me both. As for that, uh, obviously, there's a lot of, because I think everyone wants to see another, uh, another classic uh, upset. You know, seeing seeing a few in Spring Split, seeing also a few upsets in the mini tournaments we had right before Summer Split even even came, and uh, not really not really too sure about any upsets this split so far. I think a lot of the uh, a lot of the matches have been you know pred predicted that what I've what I've seen for matches to play out. Um, all right, I would say the biggest upset that happened uh, this event was uh, Gun. Like they played out of their minds, and so they actually got first seed when uh, teams like Dara and Phantasmagoria were predicted to get first seed. Now, like this gonna sound biased, but I would also say that L7 is another team. Like they were actually predicting to get around fifth, and uh, we were actually 4-0, but unfortunately we lost to uh, a VC, which is. Obviously, the favorites in a really scary team. Uh, they're board, borderline D1, I would say, at least. Because they actually have a lot of potential. Definitely. And like with, a, with a team like VC, what they've assembled, it's uh, it's it's no it's no roster. They'll definitely be down playing. It's also a very strong core coming out of that team as well. Yeah, is there anything that else that would, would you like to add before we wrap things up? Oh... Uh... No, I think that's uh, I think that's it. Well played by both teams. Obviously, uh, good job to Metro Wipeout for pulling out the, uh, the the win by a by a large margin at that against a team like AV, which is you know no no easy thing to do. I nothing else I would like to add. like good job on Metro Wipeout for playing a really with a really nice try, but. I don't say like I don't particularly think like they play bad. It's just like Metro Wipeout play better, and um, yeah, I hope uh, to see these teams play again on the 
the rest of the tournament. Uh, stay tuned to, uh, we're actually raiding Gun vs. EXO playing right now. And um, I'm Monis. And uh, I'm Zaxus. And we're signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Stay safe. Have a good day, guys.